my mm. XM pre Plymouth away. Mark, has it been a difficult week in training? Um, lads have had a couple of you know days where it's it's got it's got to they've got to, they've got to realise you know where we are and what we're trying to do and and the last last performance wasn't good enough first half but in particular it was just it wasn't there and, and we've got to realise why and it's not been it's not been a bad week or anything like that it's just been a you know we, nobody it, they're always bad weeks when you don't when you don't win. And how do you now go about getting that reaction? Do you demand it? Do the, I mean, players will know it anyway. You always they? demand it. You always set standards, and and we've got to get back to the standards that we've been setting over the last couple of months. And um, Saturday wasn't good enough. We know that. We've got a chance of going out of Plymouth and now put, and trying to put that right. And in terms of where you need to improve to put it right, is it one of those where actually it's quite straightforward to work out where it is you need to improve? I think we need to improve all over the pitch. To be honest, whatever team we play. Needs to go out with the right intentions, and, and, and we were lacking in hard work and know-how on on Saturday for the for the first 45 minutes, and that was disappointing. You know, we we, we changed tack slightly and, and tried to play a, diff a slightly different system, but it's a system everyone's grown up with and played for years and years and years. But it just it didn't it didn't work, and um, I think the the main reason for that was just. Lack of hard work with and without the ball. You know our passing options weren't there, and and um, and our willingness to get the ball back and do the right thing without possession wasn't wasn't good enough either. So it, it resulted in us being two down and, and with a bit of a well, with too much to, to do in the second half. And what do you think four four twos become lighter because it's become unfashionable in recent years as well, hasn't it? Yeah, it has a little bit, but you know you always think it's your it's your safe one. You're always you know. Some people talk about, talk about playing between the lines and stuff with whatever other formations you play, but this one's just a straight up and down. Everyone knows. You think everyone knows the jobs. You think everyone's comfortable with it, but I think for whatever reason we we, we didn't. I don't think formations, but but our our willingness to I say just work hard on Saturday was the first half, wasn't there? David Noble obviously being missed the last couple of games. Yeah. How's his progress been this week? Um, I'd like to say, yeah, he's he's firing on all cylinders, ready to go. He's, he saw a, he had a scan yesterday. Um, not there was nothing, no real damage, no no problem, but something in David did at the minute stopping him playing. So um, he's feeling something, and, and you've got to you know respect that. He he won't be available for the weekend, but you know we will 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 hope he's available for the weekend after. In some ways. If you know that he's not available, does that make it easy because you're yeah. you can you know, you're yeah of course you can. of course you can. Um, I was hoping you know we only got the news yesterday yesterday evening, so it's a bit of a blow for me because I was I was planning on him perhaps being involved, but he's, he's not. So we we get on without him as as you have to do. And you said places up for grabs. I I seriously considering sort of yeah, changes. There could be one or two changes. We. Well, yeah, I think anyone who play can't be happy with what they produce first half in particular. Uh, listen, we haven't got a squad to make wholesale changes. We're not, we're not talking that. But we, one or two little adjustments, will, will, will you would have thought would definitely be in, in place. Plymouth, obviously, just above you in the table, and like Chatham haven't won for a little while either. Should be an interesting game. Listen, it's they play decent football. They've hurt us. They've beat us at home twice this season. Be it one on penalties, one on in the league. Um, we've got to go down there and try and put that right. Uh, I saw them recently. They're, they're a decent, strong outfit. They've got some good players. Um, but we've got to worry about us. Make sure that we're on our game. Make sure that, we're, that the hard f hard work that was missing, that I thought that was missing first half, is is there in abundance on Saturday. Is there any momentum from finishing the Accrington game a little bit better than oh, you started? Well, we'll see come Saturday. But there's positives to take out the second half performance. But like I say. It, it, it's whole performances that matter, results that matter, and, and we, we got beat. So, yeah, I suppose we can have a little bit of momentum, but I'm saying we, we've got to start again, really, and, and make sure that we, from the first whistle, we're right at it. Is it just like getting back on the bike again? If, you know, young child. Yeah, when you get beat, it, it, it's been a little bit awkward with the weather in terms of getting on big pitches. We're hopefully be able to get on that today and and, and put a more 
bit more practical stuff in more more full size practice. Um, maybe that's what they need, and, and probably we, you know we haven't been able to do that over the last couple of weeks. Uh, the pitch has been that wet and, and almost waterlogged. So that's not an excuse. It's just a fact. Um, hopefully we won't, well we certainly won't be able to have that excuse for for Saturday. I mean, are you getting any closer in your search to bring one or two new faces in? A little bit, but nothing. Um, nothing will happen before the weekend. I don't, I don't think I could get one or two that are, that are getting banded about. That I'm, but I, I'm waiting. I'm just waiting and see what happens over the next couple of days. But still, only David Noble uh, on the injury list. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck. Cheers. Mike, on the subject of uh, Tarkic, do you think sometimes it pays off to wait a little bit late? Because last week you said you wanted to get it done a bit earlier, but sometimes yeah. things crop up later on. Yeah, the they, yeah, they do. Um, I say Noble is a bit of a blow to us. But you know we have to get on with it. I'm not, because I'm, I'm not too dissatisfied with what I've got. I need, I need a bit, a couple of comp bits of competition in a couple of places. You know, but that competition needs to be ready to go into the team. When when I can get the ones I want, then I'll 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 make sure I try and get them. Yeah, you said last week you hope the players are hurting as much as you. Do you think is there a feeling that they're not quite making the most of the talent with with the hard work? You know, is that a feeling that they should be better than I, they are? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, We've got some talented players here, but you know, halfway through the season, we're mid-table. You know, that's probably where we're supposed to be in terms of the playing budget and the you know the, the size of the club and, and you know look at some of the sizes of the squads and and the teams above us and the, the expenditure they have. Um, but we don't want to settle for that. We don't want to settle for being a mid-table mediocre side. And we've got to make the best of the talent we've had. That's what we've done over the last four years. Um, and. Even over the last few years, we haven't had the best squads. We haven't had the, but we've been able to get something that really get a tune out of them. Um, that's as a whole group, you know, the playing staff, um, the management staff, everybody has, has has got it together and 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 made something happen. And we haven't been quite been able to do that for various reasons this year. With you know, it's a it's a stranger league. It's a, it's. It's anybody can beat anybody, and, and, and that's proving that way. And we've just got to get concentrate on getting back to making sure that we make the most of every single game that we play. Yeah, 20 games to go. Do you still feel like it could completely go either way? Because you're still, you know, nine points off yeah, the playoffs, well, not too far off the bottom either. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We can't get, like I said, straight after the game. You know, we can't get um, beyond our station and think, you know, well, we're only looking up. You know, results like Saturday. We've got to make sure that we that don't happen, doesn't happen again. So we we're not wary of things below us. You know we we're all, we're not doom mongers here. Our glass is always you know half full, and, and we're on the way up. And that's how we are. You know we're exactly that situation at the moment. We're halfway through the table, pretty much halfway through the season, and, and we're looking up. But we we're not stupid either. Yeah, David Noble's obviously going to be missed by any team in this league. But yeah, coming up with the way to play without him is probably. The biggest challenge, hasn't it? Because he yeah. was there throughout the best run of the season. He was a big yeah, part of it. He was a big cat a massive catalyst in that. But I so say we have to do it. So whoever plays, whatever we play, has to step up and um, make it happen. Make it hard for David to get back in the team. You know, at the minute he tells me he's fit, he gets back in the team and he plays. That you know, we don't want that to happen. I want that. I want whoever, whatever we do, however we play, I want, I want that competition for places and and, and, we, and we need it. Yep. Yeah, so there's nothing. Seriously worrying on the scan, you know, that's keeping him out. No, it's just a case of no, uh, no, just just a something like you know your own body sometimes, um, and we have to respect that that he's feeling something. You know, the scan showed nothing. This, you know, um, he was perhaps going to get a local injection, uh, get get an injection into it, um, but the, the guy didn't feel it warranted that. Um, so it's 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 obviously a. A, a bit of a disappointment and a little bit of a worry for us, but I say hopefully it could, you know, can just change like that, and hopefully we can have him available as quickly as we can. Yeah, you had a good result at Plymouth when uh, just before the playoffs when you made a lot of changes and you got a good win down there. But since then they've had a little bit of a yeah, hold the last three times. times yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't read anything to that, John. To be honest, mate. So it's about who's on the who on the days more up for it. He's better with the ball, better without the ball, and who sticks your chances away, and who stops them. At the other end, I, I got total faith in the boys that we can, we can get on another run, and, and there's, we've got to start somewhere, and hopefully that can be Saturday. Yeah, you, you, you might want to do something completely different. But like you said, you haven't really got that many 
changes yeah, to make, I, have you, in terms of... I don't of, think we need to do drastic, make drastic changes, do too much different. We just need to get back to being like we were in November and December and being tough to beat, being aggressive, competitive, but also have that, that edge to being able to mix it between that and playing as well. And, and I thought the balance between November and December was, was spot on and we haven't quite found that balance over the last couple of games. Yeah. Cheers, Matt. Thank you. Thanks, Matt.